The Post-Primary Alternative Pathway Program, PAP, is an intervention program aimed at providing support for senior primary school students with special needs. The program targets students with severe achievement difficulties and seeks to provide an alternative avenue for them to access a specialized training option designed to fit their unique and special needs. The initiative spearheaded by the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training is being realized through funding from the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF, within the Ministry of Equity in partnership with the Center for Adolescent Renewal and Education Limited, OK. At a handing over ceremony recently, the St. Lucia Social Development Fund honored its commitment to 13 students by providing the tuition fees to cover the 2021-2022 academic year at K. Executive Director of the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, Alison Mathra says programs like these provide wholesome opportunities for young children to choose and take command of their education and career by aligning their education to their strengths and interests. We need to start by giving children a fair opportunity to earn a good living, learn a skill, and if they want to do the academics, do it. If they want to do technicals, you know, what technical skills for them to do it and for us to give them a chance for them to do it and do it well. And then we'll find that maybe the attraction to criminal behavior and stuff will not be as good. CARE has a wonderful ADP program, fascinating program. Again, I don't even know why the secondary schools are not exposed to a program like that because it's really life skills. And, you know, in, in, a very, in a very, very focused way. And um, like I say, I think K has a great program. I, I certainly hope that what K does is replicated and we have some more schools, you know, you know, providing that sort of assistance. The PAP program will provide beneficiaries access to quality teaching and learning, which caters to their unique needs and will improve their opportunities to experience a more fulfilling academic experience. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Senator Honorable Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper highlighted the ministry's move to and continued intention to provide the best learning and teaching outcomes for all students, despite demographics and learning abilities. Our students learn differently. Our students have different needs. And the time has come for us to address the needs of every student. We believe that no child should be left behind, and we continue to work assiduously towards ensuring that our education system is relevant, inclusive, and equitable to all learners. The post-secondary alternative pathway program was conceived out of this vision. To date, just over $15,000 have been provided to CARE from the SSDF in scholarships to 13 students who are enrolled in the educational program. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.